Hello and welcome back. So I am so excited for this video. This is going to be huge. We are now trying to track down the sea monster uh, and help Eve make Shipwreck Shore a safe place to be, really take it back from the Puppet Master. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to talk to Eve just to hear what she uh, told us in our last episode as a refresher. Now that you're ready, I can tell you where I think the beast is. All right, so she's going to tell us where she thinks the beast is hiding. The ink, the tunnel, the scales. They were all found around the wreckage of the pirate ship Antilles. The beast must be hiding there. Okay, so she thinks she she thinks it's in the uh, wreckage or around the wreckage of the Antilles. Try to show the puppet master's monster who's boss. Good luck. Thanks, Eve. I think we we'll, I think we will need it for this battle. I think this one is going to be tough. Hey, so uh, be sure to like and subscribe, all right, so that you can see some uh, great math content and some awesome tricks as we make it through here. So, Falling Star Smash is coming, and this says, "What number comes next in this sequence? 100, 200, 300." Well, so this is one. 100s, two 100s, three 100s. So one, two, three, four 100s would be next, or 400. So there's two different ways to think of that. So let's go ahead and add that correct to here. And boom, 2,211 points to Trip Trop. That is awesome. It looks like our next one may go ahead and land on trip trop so we don't need to rescue a trip trop we already have one and so here it says what number comes next in this sequence so i'm going to look and see what numbers are changing so we have the 900 that's the same we have the nine in the ones place that's the same so our tens place is what is moving as we jump from one to another so we have to figure out how the tens place is going to move as we look at this. So 969, 979, 989. Well, our tens place is increasing by one, so our answer uh, in this sequence, it's gonna be 10 more. So 989 would equal uh, uh, 90, 80 to 90. So 999 will be our answer. All right, let's go ahead and cast that spell. It was correct. So here it comes, and it is enough to send Trip Trop away. Awesome. Goodbye, Trip Trop. See you later. Okay, so here it comes. 11 battle stars each. Okay. We are definitely hitting 54, level 54, today in today's video. Pretty soon we will be level 55. All right, got some copper coins. Always exciting to get that. Let's come on up here. And make our way over here. Okay, middle plank. Here we go. All right, we're going to fight a Tweety Bird here. Okay, ooh, so we get to use some... AOE some supernovas to go ahead and take these guys down. So what cumber number comes next in this sequence? So I can see that we have 42, we have 42, we have 42, we have 42. So that's not changing. What is changing is our hundreds place. It goes from 400 to 300, 300 to 200, 200 to 100, and then after 100, there would be a zero because it's decreasing by 100 each time. So 142 minus 100, that would give us just 42. So 42 is what would be left in this sequence. And taking a look at this sequence and just thinking about how the numbers are moving in your head mentally is really, really helpful for um, uh, building up that flexibility within your head as far as, you know, just being successful with subtraction with addition if we can think about how the numbers are moving and changing then that gives us a really really nice base to uh go ahead and work from all right a critical hit on that squawks so that is awesome squawks is using ion cannon and boom 1226 he lands that let's do another supernova 
And then I think I might go ahead and switch to a, an ice attack. Uh, what number comes next in this sequence? 833, 733, 633, 533. You have heard me say a lot of 33s there, right? And so this is going to be the hundreds place is changing and it is descending. So after 533, 433 is what we will come across next. Let's cast this spell. All right. And up it goes. And then down it comes. Boom. All right. Got you down to 360. I think it's enough to send that other squawks away. Oh, man. It must have like one health left. It must have like one health. That was a critical hit. Thank you, squawks. That felt fantastic. Let's go ahead and in with Icicle Shard. All right. So this is what number comes next in this sequence. 765, 770, 775. Well, this is 65 to 70, that's plus 5. 70 to 75, that is also plus 5. So here we are adding plus 5. This sequence would have a plus 5 in between each number. And so what we have to do is we have to see what would come after 775 if we added plus 5 to it. And if you have been practicing your skip counting and you have and you rocked it in first grade, 780 should be the number that just pop pops right into your brain. And that is going to be our answer. Let's cast our spell. Awesome. Awesome. And let's see. Boom. 1868. And it's powerful. Ice is going to be, or snow is going to be powerful against lightning. So Squawks is hitting us. And Squawks missed 73 points left over. Let's go ahead and just bring our Icicle Shard out again. And 617, 622, 627. And so this is also adding by 5. And I can tell it's adding by 5 because we end up on a 7 here and here. And then 2 plus 7, 2 plus 5 is, is equal to 7. So since I know the fact family 2, 5, 7, um, I can just go ahead. It just pops in my head that 2 plus 5 would give us 7. So this I know is going to change and the way it's going to change is that the next one will be a two because as we're adding by five, it's going to cycle through that same pattern because we have a base five system. So or a base 10 system. Um, so 632 is going to be the next part of that pattern. So 617, 627, 622. 632 and that happens because 5 plus 5 equals to 10. So as you look around then you see how the numbers are changing it can really really help you to uh, add, subtract, multiply, divide a lot faster if you're paying attention to the different structures in math. All right we won. 21 battle stars yes that should be oh man Please, 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 please. Got, yay. I got a little excited a little early. Okay, 110 hearts. That is great. Hopefully that will help us against this sea monster. Okay, 300 gold coins, 20 yards. Fantastic. Let's climb on in here. Woo. Okay, this is the sad little... Sad, sad little river neap. Okay, let's go ahead and try to brighten its day by hitting it with Falling Star Smash. Count up one and click on your answer. So one counts up one. Let's go ahead and click on this because I'm not sure if that means to go forward like you're adding or backwards like you're subtracting. Let's add 17 plus one. Make sure to count up by one on the hundreds chart. Okay, so I double checked just to make sure that I understood what it was asking. And so 17 plus one will give us 18. Okay, so use the tools to make sure you understand what the question is asking as well. And it's all right, it's all right to stop to say, I need to try to figure this one out. And that's really what makes math fun is figuring stuff out. So do make sure you take a little break and try to figure it out when you need to.
count up 12 and click on your answer. Okay, so I love counting on hundreds charts. And that's because when you look at a hundreds chart, you can go ahead and do different types of moves. And so this move right here, first I'm gonna be doing the, the tens place move, and then I'm gonna be doing the ones place move, okay? So uh, for the tens place moves for addition or counting up, you're gonna go down. For subtracting or counting down, you're gonna go up. And then for counting up, you move left. For counting down, you move right. So here we are, and we're gonna count up 12. So 10, 20, we, all we have to do is move down for our tens, and then over to 20, 21, 22. So 22, 10 plus 12 will, would give us 22. I love hundreds charts. They make uh, math so accessible to all of us. They're really, really just a lot of fun. So if you use to, uh, if you take the time to get to know your hundreds chart, use your hundreds chart. It's a great resource and so helpful. I don't think having you come with me would make you any happier, River Neek, so we're just going to let that go. All right, so we're going to find the missing numbers by counting by ones from 107. So we're moving by ones over here. If it's helpful to count all of them, you can, but I know that 114 turns into 115. After 115, it is 116, and so um, that is going to be the next one counting by one. So let's cast our spell. Woohoo! And down it comes. Boom. 2,275 points of damage. Goodbye, River Neek. Have a wonderful time. Okay. We have 11 battle stars from that. And five member stars. Cool. We're creeping up. Let's open up this chest. And no dirty socks, no old coins, that's okay. We will go on. Our hearts will go on, won't they? Okay, so here we go. We're not going to brighten this River Neeks day. You can just stand there and pout for all day. All day long for all I care. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure we can get right straight through these guys here. There we go. Stay up at the top. And let's see if we can get through and find this monster. Oh, yay! Okay, so I forgot that we have the gun, the Sonic Blaster. So I need to start clearing that stuff off and taking a look at what is inside. So that's something that I need to run around and take care of to clean this stuff up. Okay, so we're counting by ones from 143. So we're going to start, I'm going to start at 147. I'm not going to go all the way back. I'll be able to figure out the pattern from here. 147, 148, 149. After 149, we have 150. After 150, we have 151. And then after 151, we move up just one to 152. And let's go ahead and cast that spell. All right. And here it comes. It's going up, it's going up, and it's coming down. Boom! Like how they just close themselves in the shell before it hits. Very cute. Okay. Hopefully we'll get their eyeballs next time. 1,045 points of damage there. We have enough for another supernova. Okay, so count forward by fives from 150. Okay, so counting forward by fives is a really important skill. 150, 155, 155, 160. This is going to follow the same pattern with the repeating because we're counting by fives. Uh, so each number will be the same um, again. So here we have a zero, a zero. We have a five. We're going to have a five. And the tens place will go up by one when we arrive on it. So 155, 160, 165 now. And then 170. And counting on or skip counting um, is an important skill doing it on diff with different numbers. So, all right. And up it goes, up it goes, up it goes, and down it comes, boom. One of them had their eyeball open. Okay, 
And I think one more might do us. We'll see. We'll see if we get lucky with our next hit, Supernova. And count forward by fives from 160. So 160, 165. Make sure you're counting with me. 170, 175, 175, 180. Okay. And let's cast this spell. Woohoo! Up, up, and down it comes. It should be enough. We should be good. Awesome. So that is enough to say goodbye to uh, both of those. See you later, guys. See you later, Mimics. And we will be inside the ship, the Antilles, right after this. Okay, is that enough for you guys to get to level 54? It is? Awesome. So if I need Apple Pot or I need Ice Creator, then this will be super helpful. It will be super helpful for us if I need to go ahead and uh, rely on them. If things get really hairy when we go inside. Alright, we're going to come on up this way. Follow the path around and see what happens. Ooh, there is a door over here that looks like we can unlock now. Got some yards there, that's nice. Okay, let's open the door. The door's locked. Let's let Eve know. Okay. It's all finished. Let's see. Okay, let's head back to Eve. Admiral Capello's. All right, Admiral's Capello. Let's put so that on. That door needs a key. Check the ship wreckage. It shouldn't be too far from there. Okay, let's go ahead and check the ship wreckage and see if we can s quickly make it past without getting into any battles. If we run fast, hopefully we will be able to make it through and squeeze past anybody. We would need to a battle. Looks like we're doing okay so far. Go, go, go. Go, Connor. Go, Connor. You can do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here's the sad one. Let's go ahead and click on over here. Sorry, River Neek. I hope you have a better day tomorrow. Okay, and then squeeze through here. Super fast. All right. And can we get back? Can we get back? Can we get back? Okay, we're going to come on over here. We need to search over there. Looks like we're going to have to battle this uh, River Neek before. So let's go ahead and Supernova. We're going to click uh, to place 92 and then 83 on our number line. And then we're going to complete the sentence for this. It says 92 is what? 92 is greater than. That's the bigger number. It's further right. Uh, is greater than 83. And we're going to read that just like a sentence. So we're talking about the number on the left, just like you would a normal sentence, an English sentence. All right, so we've got some damage right here. And I'm going to go ahead and see if we are pretty much all out of mana. So I do want to make sure that I'm building it up because this next battle is supposed to be a little on the tough side. 84, we're gonna click to place 84 and then 92. So 84 is towards the left. It is also um, uh, the smaller number. So we're gonna say 84 is less than 92. And that will be a true statement for us. Boom, 2,243 points of damage. And River Neek missed. Let's go and do Falling Star Smash one more time. We're clicking to place 89 and 99 on the number line. So they are 10 apart. 89 is going to be 10 less than 99. So 89 is less than 99. All right. And we have a skill complete. Is it a rank up? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, it is a rank up. I had a feeling, I had a feeling that was going to be a rank up for us. So, great job, guys. Thanks for helping me out with that. Okay, goodbye, River Neek. Get a hobby. Maybe you'll feel better. Okay, Ruckus is using Snowling Ball here. Boom! 1,496 points of damage. You have enough mana for an AoE, which is good. 
Complete the statement for the number 69. The digit six that's in the tens place is in the ones place. Nope, so we can cross out. This one says ones place. This one says ones place, so we can cross that out. Uh, this one says is in the tens place and has a value of six. So the tens place means it's gonna have a value of a 10. Uh, and so it says the digit six is in the tens place and has a value of 60. That is our correct answer. And so you wanna make sure that you are um, uh, taking away the problems that just, the answers that just don't make sense that aren't logical. And then you'll be able to double check to make sure that what you find is in fact the best choice. Okay. And I don't think we're going to rescue you. I think we're just going to do Falling Star Smash, and I'll try to get you another time. So we're completing the statement for the number 94. The digit 4 is in the, it's in the ones place over here, is in the ones place and has a value of 4. That would be right. Tens place? Nope. Tens place for D? Nope. And the ones place has a value of 4, not 40. So A would be the right answer for this. And there we go. Congratulations, woohoo! Thanks for helping out, guys. All right, Ruckus is gonna run away. And I think we should be able to go ahead and get uh, the key. 21 battle stars each. All right, we gained 10 member stars each. Let's open up our chest. Got a morph marble for Misteel. Awesome, let's check over here. All right, Captain's Quarters key. Great. So let's go ahead and quickly get by. Go, 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 go. Yay. Awesome. And so we were able to get by all of the monsters before. This is awesome. All right. So we need to open up this door. We need to see what is behind. And that is going to be our next video, opening this door up and seeing what lurks behind. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure you like, be sure you subscribe. I cannot wait to help Eve out and to track down this monster and see where it is leaving, uh, living. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep on prodiging on. Be sure to, and I will, yeah, <laughs> take care. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.